Hello and welcome to a very quick training session on how to select video for archive on the new Generation 3 platform. The platform includes products such as the EcoSense, the SD Advanced and the DVI-P range. And so using the DVI-PRT with, with the uh, latest software release and also a USB mouse, left click on the bottom right hand corner of your screen and select the colour buttons. Click the next option until your playback controls appear. Then select the green rewind playback control until you reach the start of your video archive. Once you've reached the start, pause and then click on next until you reach the mark option which will be in the red box. Select Mark and as you can see the start of that video archive will be displayed in the copy list. Next select the end of your video archive and again select, select Next until you return to your playback controls, press play and fast forward until you reach the end of your video archive. Once you're happy, select pause, navigate to the mark option and select mark again. This will be the end of your video archive and that whole archive will now be in the copy list. And so having selected the video that you wish to archive, you need to go to the archive list. Navigate until you reach the archive option, which in this case will be on the yellow colour button. Select that and you're provided with the copy list. And as you can see here, as an example, we have a video archive waiting to be burned to the medium that you select. The medium can be USB, CD or DVD. The CD or DVD format must be CD or DVD minus R. So select the medium, I'm going to select CD DVD. Okay, I am going to include the viewing application. Simply tick the box. I am going to uncheck the eject button. Once I'm happy with that the archive is prepared, simply open the drawer, open the DVD drawer, and place your DV, DVD into the optical drive, ensuring that the DVD is placed into the drive correctly. Close the drawer and allow the process to read the CD or the DVD. Once the media has been correctly read, okay, the status will say media loaded and ready for archive. At this point, simply select the copy button, the red button. The status will give you an update on progress. Currently the status is saying that we're writing to the DVD. And as you can see from the on-screen display, the progress bar has given us the progress of the video archive being written to the DVD. The status is currently saying that we're writing the lead out and the progress is reading 100%, so we're very near to the end of writing the video archive. So as you can see, uh, we are verifying the, the video archive as denoted by the status. And so once the video archive is complete, inject the DVD and package future use.